Hi everyone, how you doing? Gosh, what a pickle we are all in. Um, hope you're well. Um, for our makeup escape for the next few minutes, um, I'm going to be talking about products I love that are all under £10. Um, I think it's important to do a little bit of money saving um, makeovers, why not? And I might also do a skincare one if you're interested in high street um, skincare too. Um, and also I wanted to know whether you kind of feel, I don't want to repeat myself as why well, I'm asking you all this, if you kind of know or you've got your sort of skincare weapons to kind of get you through the winter time. So your vitamin C's and your retinols, um, maybe a little bit of oil, um, things like that. Do you have your arsenal of products ready? I know a lot of you are not in winter, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit out of season, but whatever you want, let me know, I'm here to serve. Right, so I'm going to go in with um, the Max Factor Miracle Second Skin. Um, this is a fantastic product. It's really, really hydrating. Uh, my shade's light medium. Uh, it was launched a few months ago. I've used it a few times. Um, this is, go on, get a really nice payoff, but don't worry. When I first put this on, I was like, oh gosh, I thought it was sort of a more of a natural hydrating finish, but um, don't worry. Once you put it on your skin and you massage it in or rub it in, whichever you want to do, um, it just literally, unifies with your skin and uh, becomes a very soft veil of colour and the shades are lovely, it's 13 shades in total um, and if you're like me and you prefer like a sort of yellowy toned base um, then these colours really quickly and effectively sort of neutralise any of that redness. So I do sort of like a couple of pumps just to get that sort of perfect finish to my skin but it's just really hydrating and that's what you want isn't it over the winter time. So I really think this product is quite a premium product for the price. Um, it's got a lovely finish. You can really smell the aloe when you pop it on. It's got SPF 20, yeah, SPF 20. And it's also got pre and probiotics in, which um, I'm really fascinated with at the moment. I'm doing a few interviews. Maybe I've done it already, I'm not sure. Um, with a brand called S, E W S E that are created in Africa, South Africa and the science that they have on the flora and fauna in South Africa and the benefits for our skin is fantastic. Anyway, I'm yabbling, there's always so much to say. Right, so, e.l.f. Now this is brilliant, brilliant concealer. There's two, we've got the 24 hour camo one. Can be a little bit drying if you have dry skin, but if you have normal or combination skin, you'll love that too. I like to use a hydrating satin finish because I like to use it, look at this big stick, it's very much like the Tarte um, applicator for a concealer. I like to have the hydrating one just because my skin's dry and I like to just put it in this area here. And I just, <laughs> it gives me joy that it's kind of really fat and easy to apply. I'm not really gonna bother with sort of any pigmentation or burn marks from tongs. <laughs> Because, oh, who cares? But I do care about the redness around the um, uh, centre panel of my face. So I just use my warmth of my fingers just to push it in. And I think I've talked about this a lot, well, I know I have loads of times, but if you're new to my channel, it's really important to make sure that you push the concealer in to your skin where you want it covered. There's no point doing this kind of like windscreen wiper effect um, because um, you'll just remove it and concealer is one of those products that you want to stay put. I'm just going to brush that out there with a nice brush. Beauty Pie some great brushes by the way, if you're a subscriber. I'm just going to push this in and feather it. The brush really sort of helps to feather the product into the skin, whereas my fingers have just sort of pushed it into the pores of my skin. Um, my husband's just coming in the door if it makes a noise, sorry. Um, and this just feathers it out so that it doesn't look a different consistency to what I've done on my skin. But now I know that around my nose and chin area, that is going to stay covered and it's such a great, great concealer. Nice. Okay, right, I I'm, can't go straight to my eyes. I have to put a little bit of color in my cheeks first, but I'm going to first use, oh look, I'm doing, a, I didn't even realize when I did my collection. I've got a, a beauty pie cheek action going on here. I'm gonna go first in with the Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand, which is so, so nice. Lots of companies do these great sponges. This feels really cool, actually, when you put it on your skin. But um, even though the Max Factor's 
really, really hydrating. I personally love oh, this little fringe. This little fringe needs to grow. I'm not doing very well with my fringe. <laughs> um, this is nice again because it just creates that nice sheen and that's what I like on my skin. I feel that my skin looks a little bit more youthful with this sheen on and because I'm, it's a cream texture, not a powder. I'm not a huge fan of powder on my skin. I use it at work and the hourglass powders are beautiful um, because they almost look like liquid, but on my skin and around this area of my face where my skin crinkles a little, I don't want it to be looking too shiny and too bumpy. But in the winter time, um, when my skin is, is much drier, this just kind of just gives me a little bit of a, a candle lit glow. Um, Hannah Martin is a fabulous makeup artist who lives in London. I know her and she's lovely. She made a collection of cream blushes um, for Beauty Pie and I love this shade called Bear Blush and mixing it with the luminizer is gonna, gonna give me that really kind of yummy, sort of fresh, healthy, wintry cheek. So look, you see what I do there? I put it on with my ring finger and then just blend with a cleaner little finger. I was watching The Queen's Gambit last night. Have you watched that? It's such a beautiful, beautifully lit film. Great, really calming, great story. Who knew chess could be that interesting? Um, it's such a nice one. The fashion's amazing. Really, really great. Right. So I'm going to make this a little bit more flushy. Normally I would just put this on the apples of my cheeks and keep it in quite a small area. You know how I like to kind of keep the blush small. But for this look, I just wanted to kind of create a little bit, just more of a soft flush. I'm just building that gradually. But that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Don't say that about myself because that be, sounds quite arrogant. I'm actually saying that the effect of the makeup looks pretty, but I think you, I think you get what I'm saying. Right. Okay. So let's go in with brows. Um, so I'm going to go in with the brow styler from B Superdrug, which is a vegan brand, cheap as chips. It's a brilliant, brilliant range. Um, and this is an angled brow product with a spoolie on the end. So you can create those fine little hairs that I need to create it right from the bottom and then I use the spoolie, oops, and then I use the spoolie just to feather it up so the colour looks graduated so I get that nice shape underneath my brow but then when it goes up and outwards it looks just a little bit softer. But I need to extend my brows really quite far because I'm trying to get that nice angle from the outer corner of my nose eye and that's where that gives me the length um, but these are great shades you're looking to get a cool shade what shade is this does it even say mm. oh yes 04 blonde surprisingly enough um yeah i like that and it lasts some of the ones some of the cheaper ones cold pencils don't tend to last this this one does but if you find that your brow products slip or dilute, um, just take a cotton bud, a bit of micellar water after you've done your base and just run it through your brow because you might have found that in your application that you've got a little bit of product or a little bit of skincare or eye cream or something in your brow. And then when you put your coal on or your pencil on, you then sort of have this, like I said, diluted effect. So just run a little bit of micellar water in a cotton bud over the top of your brow if it doesn't last and just pat it dry before you apply the brow product. And I think that you'll find that that um, makes your brow products last a little bit longer. It's all those things that we don't realise we're doing that we do do. And uh, yeah, it ruins the look. Right, Brow Revival by Max Factor. I've used this many times in my films. Nice, tiny little spoolie. And I just use it to maintain the lift of my brows throughout the day because um, for my face, I need to lift, lift, lift and just sort of fix. And if I sort of check myself in the mirror sort of later on in the day, I think, oh good, my brows are still in place. It somehow just makes me feel a little bit put together. Whereas if they're all over the place and there's not many of them, let's face it, um, it's annoying. Um, so it just kind of keeps my look tidy as far as I can see. So this sets when it's dry 
but it's a great shade and it's a nice little spoolie. Another winner product. Right, lots and lots of great cream eyeshadows to choose from, but I've gone with a classic that I've loved for ages, and that's Kiko 06. Um, they do brilliant long-lasting eyeshadows, and I'm going to use a bit of um, 3 Inner. This brand is so weird. 3 Inner, I, you know what it is. It's a 3 Inner. Thinner, Minner, I don't know. Anyway, on that shade on the top, and I'm going to use it in the centre to lift, but I want to go for quite a striking eye. So I'm going to use the side of the... Um, uh, eyeshadow just to really run through the roots of my lashes and then go on the outside and then I'm going to go all the way along the line all the way along pushing it all the way into the folds of my skin now I didn't take it all the way around there and just take a little cotton bud it's honestly this shade suits everybody um, every skin tone, every age, it's just one of those shades. It's not too golden, it's dark enough to kind of create shape to the eye. That's really nice. Just split that in and it just lasts. Once it's dried, it lasts and lasts and lasts. So, you know, it's sort of hard to think, well, do I need to spend any money on anything else, really, when you can get such a great long-lasting wear product Beauty Pie do great ones. Um, well, lots of companies do great ones, but this is my favourite. You see, it's just really, really nice. Instantly <laughs> makes my eye look bing, so much bigger. Just kind of, there's a little bit of gold that runs through it, so it's nice for warmer skin tones. It's not too cool, but it's just a real great eye shaper. And if you struggle with um, having a bit of fallout on your eye when you put eyeshadow on or like my eyes a little bit creasy and the shadow takes a while to push in cream's just a great option i mean i really should have cleaned this not that it's dirty but it's just well used enough it's not my pro kit my pro my pro kit especially in these times is completely separate to any of the makeup that i use on my films now i've had to make a proper covid kit not a kit that's full of COVID, obviously, but um, it's extremely, extremely clean and sanitised and I don't open it and shut it and open it and shut it. Um, it is all tucked away, ready for my next job, which are thin on the ground, but there are a few things going on, so long may that last. Right, I think I'm happy with that because I've got the shape of my eyes, it's knocked my socket back and I'm going to go in with the 532, three inner, minna, <laughs> whatever and I'm going to take this just down the center of my lid look it's a really nice shot of gold coppery gold not too gold because it just would be too much of my hair but it just lifts and freshens up um, the darker shadow the 06 and I like it a little bit on there and I'm just going to take a little bit on my hand and then just run it very lightly just underneath my brow so it just blends in, so it just kind of takes that colour up to my brow, but it's just very, very soft and subtle. And all with my fingers, which is a joy, I think. Just remember to wash them once you've done your makeup, right? Okay, so that's pretty much the eyes done. Very happy with that. These are all great products I am showing you. I promise you, if you only ever buy prestige makeup, and you try this, please let me know what you think because um, I think you'll go, oh, lovely. Right, Dual Wand Mascara next, again by B, by Superdrug. This is a vegan brand, not sure if I mentioned that before, but you know my love of mascara wands. This has a double-ended mascara one, wand, one much skinnier and thin, and then one soft and bristly. So you know now, by now, guys, I hope that this gives you a much sort of tighter, um, individual kind of heavier lash finish whereas the um, twisted bristle gives you a much lighter um, and softer effect to your mascara so I'm gonna go in with a thin brush because I find that if I go in with a thin brush at the roots I get more definition to my eye 
and then I follow through just on the tips with the lighter one. If you've got very, very thick long lashes and you use you know this type of brush, sometimes you just deposit too much mascara on and you end up with sort of the appearance of um, lashes that, you know, look like sort of spider's legs. Rather lots of individual lashes. So as you can see, the bristles just really soften the tip of the lash. But I can't get the mascara super close at the base when I've got so many bristles. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to go in with the, the tip of the bristle and paint my lower lashes. I want this to be a nice wide eye, wide eyed, fresh look. So place the tip backwards and forwards to really kind of coat the lashes. And this is a mascara that I um, have found doesn't smudge or bleed throughout the day either. And it's just a great, great price. Okay, so happy with this sort of soft wintry look on this very sunny day. I realise I've got shards of light. Let me just um, pull the uh, shutter down. That might be clearer mm. for you to see the look so far. Now lips. You know how much I love the Honest Beauty Mascara. Um, they've got some tinted lip balms now, quite a few shades, really, really nice. My favourite is Fruit Punch. I'm going to use my Levera um, Soft Lip Liner first, just to create a little bit of a shape on my mouth. And this again I got from Whole Foods and it's such a nice colour and it's so well priced. And sometimes I forget to put the lid on and I'm like, oh no, that's a goner. You know how just pencils and eyeliners can just dry out. Just on one, one moment where you think, oh no, I've got to put the lid on. No, it's absolutely fine, as you can well see. That's such a nice colour, such a nice natural lip colour. You know, sometimes they can be a little bit too nudey. Great, nice and easy shape on the lips and finish off with a tinted lip balm. It also comes in a clear too. So pretty. It's such a nice colour. It's a really peachy, watermelony type of shade. She's not watermelon at all. It's like a peachy nude. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. Lovely, wonderful. I'm delighted with that look. Um, very affordable, pretty, enhances my features, um, feels nice and hydrated um, on my skin and on my lips. And um, I feel like my eyes are framed nicely. Please share your budget buys with everyone below. Um, we all need to save a few pennies in these days. And um, as usual, thank you for being the best, best subscribers. And I'll chat to you below. Bye for now.